up guys welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to be talking about using the broadcast block and the wait block so let's go ahead and create a new project and get right into that so for starting we want to use the broadcast block so you have to go to events and then right down at the very bottom of events right before control you're going to find some broadcast blocks in when I receive. So first thing that we want is the broadcast message one block. Because from here, what the broadcast block basically does is if you want two strings of code to be running at the same time, then this is what you need to do. You need to broadcast a message and then when I receive message, so that way what it'll do is it'll send a, a sort of signal to this and act it'll activate this block right here and while this one continues and let's say that you're halfway through your program and you have some sort of block in there then you can also if you want you can grab the broadcast message and wait so what this does is once it's moved and then it, then it'll broadcast the message and then just stop this program so, but we don't want that, so we're going to be using the broadcast message block. So, and then another thing that we're going to be talking about is the wait block, which is in control, and it's at the very top. So if you want, you can just go to events, and then it's right at the very bottom, right on top of repeat block. So you can pop this in here. So, these two blocks can be useful for FLL and maybe junior FLL people and the reason of that is because one thing that you might do for every mission is you might want to go out but then also while you're going out you might want to adjust your attachment inside of the motors so what you can do for that is let's say that what it does is it broadcasts the message activates this block so it's so let's say that it goes for 10 row stations it starts to do this while also it waits 0.5 seconds so that way this starts going and then you start moving out to your mission but this can be useful for FLO people like I just said and so then also we have the broadcast message and wait block what this basically does is once you have this block then it'll just start activating this line of code and it won't run anything else down here. I, I'm not sure if there's a way that you can make it so this program resumes, but I don't think that there is. And so let's say that since there's limited space on here, if you make, made your code go all the way down to the bottom of it, then you could use the broadcast message block, like way down here or so. And then it would go way up here and then you can just keep making lines of code just in case you run out of space. So let's just get rid of that. And so that's going to be about it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial useful. See you in the next one. Bye!